Electrification, autonomous driving, connected cars. What used to be vague concepts are now starting to materialize into actual cars. We went to Frankfurt to get a taste of the trends that will be affecting the industry and that you cannot ignore from a fleet and mobility manager's perspective. New equipment makes cars ever more complicated, increasing the need for electric power. At the same time, emission regulations are getting stricter. Add-on 48 volt systems are the perfect solution. A small battery feeds energy consuming features and a compact electric motor to assist the combustion engine. This way, 10 to 15% of fuel is saved at a fraction of the cost of a full hybrid. Digital interaction with the outside world has become a key value, even in the lower segments. Volkswagen T-Roc, Hyundai Kona, Kia Stonic, the latest small SUVs are going all out in the infotainment department. With smartphone-like interfaces, Wi-Fi hotspots and connected services to please driver and passengers. What Tesla has sowed, other OEMs will eventually reap. BMW has its sights set to the Model 3, but it won't be before 2021 that this concept car is production ready. Closer to reality is the electric Mini, which should zoom to showrooms across Europe in 2019. A year later, the C-segment EQA will start rolling off the production line at Mercedes. Cars with level 5 autonomy, which require no driver intervention whatsoever, are probably still a few years away. Level 3, however, is just round the corner. Between motorway entry and exit, the new Audi A8 does all the driving, in theory, because EU regulation does not allow the use of the system for now. Linking autonomous with shared is smart, a brand that is to become all electric by 2020. This EQ concept is what the car to go vehicle of 2030 might look like. Even though they are not on the fleet map in Europe today, a handful of Chinese OEMs have done their homework really well. Wei and Sherry are developing sporty, good-looking SUVs with electrified powertrains. Exactly what the Europeans want. What is a prototype today could become reality within the next two years. By then, Borgward has perhaps risen from its ashes thanks to this Q5-inspired SUV. It's already on sale in China. With these five trends gaining momentum, the fleet scene is about to change. Perhaps even at a faster pace than you would imagine.